Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, get on in here. We're making tiramisu. And since I like to be a little extra, we're actually going to be making the lady fingers from scratch today because I'm a weirdo. I love me a good tiramisu and uh, that's what we're going to be making today. So the cold tiramisu minus the fragrant fish oil. Maybe that's not something we want to put in ours. So, you know, we're not going to like, uh, in case you guys don't know, Wowhead has now established their own shop. So if you would like to get any of their gear, and of course they have a lot of Warcraft gear too as well. So you should go over there, check it out in the Warcraft store page. I really thought I had the link. I don't, uh, apologies. I'll get that link for you shortly. Just really quick stuff you can get from the Wowhead store right here. Ignore that. Uh, so we have ourselves. Okay, this one's probably my second favorite. It's the Wowhead Pepe, you know, mascot pin. I enjoy that one so much. I think my first favorite is the uh, cute Murloc right here. Uh, I think it's pretty freaking cute. Uh, so there are many things you can get over there. Plushies, pins, all sorts of stuff that you want to check out on the Wowhead store. You should totally do it. There is also an achievement pin, which I think is absolutely cute. Uh, and I love that thing so much. Oh, and uh, ooh, bop, bop, bop. <sighs> of course, if you're a fan of Wowhead Weekly, you can also get your Wowhead Weekly pin. I like to make it hard on myself, so I'm making lady fingers from scratch. We have already made lady fingers in the back in case anything happens here. So when we make our tiramisu recipe, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have to take some espresso uh, and some sugar, and we're gonna be soaking our lady fingers so that they're more edible in that softness of the tiramisu recipe. So that's what we have here. I don't want to open them, but I'm just showing you what I have here in terms of what we're looking for. Is like that thin, crispy finger looking thing hence the term lady fingers obviously all right so we're gonna need for the lady fingers four eggs separated two-thirds of a cup of white sugar and seven eighths of a cup of all-purpose flour topped off with half a teaspoon of baking powder so uh this is gonna be a very straightforward sponge cake we're not gonna be working with anything fancy we're gonna have to take those four eggs separate the four uh yolks from the four egg whites uh we're gonna be whipping them up into as much of a big a uh, large volume full of air as much as we can. Uh, of course, we can meringue the egg whites. It's just the egg yolks are just a little bit more trickier. And so we're going to be working with that today. So the easiest way for us to whip up and meringue egg yolks and egg whites is to kind of set your eggs out and let them get to room temperature. I had to cheat a little bit. And so I put my eggs in like a <laughs> A plastic cup and I ended up you know putting them on the windowsill so they can get a little bit warmer here so we're gonna be working with four eggs great so these four eggs are gonna be our base for our sponge we're gonna need some big effing bowls oh excuse me we're gonna need some pretty big bowls right now okay let's go ahead and do our separations here so this one uh, will be the whites. We're going to need a lot of space for those whites to get nice, big, and fluffy. So we're going to go ahead and let that happen here. Uh, so give me like one second to separate everything. This shell likes to be a little bit of a butt. That's OK. Oop. There we go. So uh, boop. All right. There we go. Gonna go ahead and grab two thirds of a cup of sugar minus two tablespoons and we're gonna go ahead and uh, whip up that egg yolk so we're gonna start with the two here i'm gonna put this here one two great so i'm gonna scoop the third one take two tablespoons out of it and set it aside and then we'll work on that uh continuing on after this two tablespoons so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that two tablespoons from this breezy right here Ooh. 
I should have just, uh, there we go. We're fine. And then so just a little bit that dropped off from the bottom there, right? To replace it. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna go in here. Let's go ahead. And just whisk this as much as possible. This seems so dry. What happened? What did I miss? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. There we go. So we're, we're waiting. Uh, I, I forgot. I have to be patient on this step. So we're going to, sorry, there we go. So we're going to go in here. Be patient if you get clumps of sugar and egg yolk that don't actually gel together. Just uh, have some patience. Go in here and give it some time to get really, uh, you know, lemony, pale yellow and thick. And eventually it will turn into more of a homogenous mixture state we just the important thing is is that you're incorporating air into the sugar uh excuse me into the egg yolks using the sugar so uh at this stage it would be a good idea to grab a silicone spatula here awesome so that looks really great it's got a nice pale color we've got some nice aeration in there it's definitely like uh, in the liquid state, which is what I wanted. Heck yes. All right. There. So we have already started our baking in the oven. So I didn't forget. I promise. There we are. We're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, sorry. So we're at that foamy stage. So at that foamy stage, I like to add in a little pinch of uh, cream of tartar. Now, cream of tartar is a byproduct of the winemaking process. Uh, this little bit of acidity of uh, sediment helps actually give us the best meringue possible. So I like to use stuff. <laughs> stage is pretty good let's go ahead and add a little bit at a time our sugar I don't like to add in too much of it at a time that's gonna really mess us up later so I want to make sure we put it in there I'm gonna hold back on our whipping here so that we can make sure that sugar goes in all the way Yeah, so we're at a stiff peak here because we have our peaks. They have stayed upwards even though uh, our mixer is the other way. So we have reached the phase of our meringue where it's so stiff. I can hold it over my head and uh, we're okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right on. Recipe says that we need seven eighths of a cup of flour. I honestly don't think there is a measure out there for seven eighths. So I did the math. It's 4.3 ounces. So we're going to go ahead and grab a scale here. 4.3 ounces. Let's go. That's 2.2. 3.3. We're almost there. We need 4.3. We're at three of 3.9, 4.0, 4.1, Come on, we're almost there. Just gonna crush you guys. No, not enough. Okay. 4.3, got it. So we need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Thin wire whisk here, and we're gonna go ahead and whisk together our baking powder and our flour together and just blend it as much as possible because blending it together is gonna help us out when it comes to uh, just having consistency all throughout our lady fingers. Alrighty, so we're gonna fold half the egg whites into the egg yolks right now. It says to take half the egg whites, mix it into the egg yolk. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. 
boom we're gonna do the best we can to kind of mix everything together it will deflate your egg whites just do the best you can to gently let the egg white mixture kind of get everywhere it looks like I did slightly over with the egg whites because we're getting some granular meringue instead of smooth meringue, but it's not too bad. Thankfully, we can still work with it. You wanna do this in as little passes as possible so that you can keep as much air into your meringue as possible. Sometimes you can't help and you gotta go in there and smooth out that meringue clumps. Uh, there's something oddly satisfying about uh, mixing this, flipping this mixture with a spatula. I know, right? Let's go ahead and do that other half. And then we're gonna fold in the flour mixture. And then we're gonna put all this in a piping bag. And we're gonna go ahead and pipe out our ladyfingers. I forgot to add the remaining egg whites last. That's okay, we're just gonna have to do this. The old fashioned way. We're gonna go, go half of the flour mixture, put it in, put the other half in after that, and then we're done. So flour, it's just the Okay, so we're good to go. I don't want to mess with it anymore. Bread will do. So I'm going to use an ice cream scooper or a disher is called. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use this thing to kind of put in our lady finger batter. to our bag. It's a very clean way to do it. Just don't leave the disher in the um, bowl. It'll, the weight will deflate a lot of your batter. Be gentle. Be quick. I put the piping bag to the side. We have our piping bag here. Let's just give a couple of twists just lightly. We want to treat these very delicately. We want to treat this very delicately. Super important. So let's go ahead and get our sheet tray. And we're going to go ahead and start piping down in the line. We're going to go ahead and pipe down our lady fingers. Oh, that might be too big now. All right, we'll find out right now. So we're going to go ahead and pipe out. Yeah, that's nice, actually. All righty, so let's go ahead and uh, bake this. It says it needs to bake for eight minutes. Okay, so messy piping bag, check. Let's go ahead and pipe this out. Okay, so we are gonna stick these in the oven. They, these are, like I said, they're a bit janky and I don't think I made enough of them, but that's why we have lady fingers in the... Yeah, they're not rising as high as I'd like. All right, so here are our lady fingers that we have made. Yes, it's gonna be a boozy tiramisu. Although we will replace that if it's uh, not wanted by other people. So one third of a cup. Ooh, nailed it. There we are. Here it is. All right, so the janky ladyfingers are coming out of the oven. Oh, so the ladyfingers are not as big and not as risen as uh, you would want to expect. They're still gonna do the job. So we're gonna go ahead and get started using our whisk here. We're gonna whisk our wine and our sugar together very quickly. There we are. So we're gonna be using a saucepan full of water because we're gonna have to end up using a bain-marie to help get our eggs nice and uh, tempered. 
slash pasteurized. So what we're looking for, I'm going to go ahead and turn down the heat very, very low. Extremely low. We do not need it very warm at all. So you're looking for the steam heat to sit and touch your uh, eggs and not the water heat. That would actually mess you guys up some. We're getting that nice pale color, that nice thickness. That's what we're looking for here. And we're definitely getting that bigger volume for sure. Mascarpone cheese. Yeah, this stuff has like, yeah, it's a cream cheese consistency, like a very softened cream cheese consistency. We're going to whisk the daylights out of this stuff. Here we are. Oh, it's going to take a little bit of uh, some finagling here. Here we are. It'll come out eventually. Come on. You're like all up in my whisk here. Ugh. I hate using my fingers, but I have to. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> Lula whips out the mixer. Yeah, I should have used a mixer. Oh, way better. Tray better. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, so we're going to be in here and we're going to be using our hand mixer so I can stop killing my hand. And we're going to whisk this up until it's nice and smooth and lump free. We're going to need a spatula to get in here. Cool beans. Ooh, that's pretty tasty. Okay, one more time. One more pass through. So we are done with this. Let's go ahead and set it aside. Move on to our next phase of our plan. I'm using instant espresso because I don't drink espresso. And so this small container of instant espresso is about perfect for me. It's gonna be a strong coffee. It's gonna be a strong espresso. So here is our strong as heck espresso coffee that just got made instantly. Oh yeah, three tablespoons of coffee liqueur or brandy. I have coffee liqueur, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. We also need some powdered sugar. Only three tablespoons, thankfully. But you know, I think we can use granulated sugar. Uh, that would work too. But we'll we'll check it out right now. So, where did I leave that coffee liqueur? Oh, that's right. So guys, maybe I went a little cheap on the uh, coffee liqueur, but we're gonna work on it. More powdered sugar! Yeah, man, right? All right, so coffee liqueur, we're gonna need how much? Three tablespoons. Ooh, that's very nice. There's one, I forgot, should I shake it up? I don't know, just in case. Two, ooh, sorry, three. Powdered sugar. All right, so three tablespoons. One, and then we're just gonna whisk it. I have a whisk right there. Two. I might double up on the bottom tray of the uh, really flat uh, lady fingers so that we can use our more voluminous, lofty lady fingers for the middle uh, section, I think is what I might do right now. That powdered sugar literally melted. All right, so we need our hand mixer one more time so we can make ourselves some whipped cream. Heavy cream. Hopefully the whipped cream is cold enough. Nice. So we're going to fold in this whipped cream into the mascarpone cheese mixture. There we are. I'm just grabbing every little bit I can. So using whipped cream is another way to kind of aerate a mixture. Kind of make it, you know, lighter, increase the volume. I think we got it all mixed in, hopefully. I still see bits and streaks of white in there. I can't tell if I'm being paranoid or not. I think we got it. And now we're just gonna put it all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust out our 13 by nine inch tray here. Just gonna go ahead and let it we didn't have time to let it dry out completely, but that's okay. All right. So I'm unstucking the lady fingers, which I guess I needed to wait for them to like finish drying out so that they would become better, better unstuck. But you know, it is what it is. This is what I get for wanting to do lady fingers from scratch. This is what, this is what awaited me. Yeah, I wanna do these on top of each other. So I wanna make sure we have it all lined up before we start soaking it in coffee. So we're gonna go ahead and just fill up the bottom tray as much as possible with uh, lady fingers here. Let's soak these suckers. I'm gonna take our pastry brush. I'm gonna take the coffee. 
I'm going to go ahead and very liberally, absolutely just soak our lady fingers. I'm going to go ahead and add in our mixture here. Kind of like paste that mixture evenly everywhere. We're going to spread the mascarpone whipped cream egg mixture all around the bottom here so that we don't see any more of that ladyfinger stuff. Uh, I will go in here and just add where I need it to add. Let's go ahead and do the store-bought ones for the next layer for the sake of having a better second layer. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Yeah, I want that to be uh, less because I want a crispy cookie too. I love me a good crispy cookie. We're finishing up our finishing touches on our cold tiramisu here and uh once we finish dusting it and decorating it's got to go into the fridge to set for a little bit how's your miss weaver monk by the way it's good 354 item level so i'm doing really good actually i just uh i haven't checked my chest for the week yet because i know today's reset day we used our offset spatula to get ourselves a nice uh lane going here a nice uh topping smooth top let's put the finishing touches on our tiramisu we have cocoa powder already out i'm using a fine mesh strainer we're gonna put a like a couple of tablespoons of cocoa powder and we're gonna go ahead and dust the top very liberally we got to try and see as less of the mascarpone as possible You stick this into the fridge for about one to two hours. Ideally, guys, fridge this for eight hours. Let's go with this side. We're going to go ahead and cut off a square here. Oh, why are you sticking to the bottom of the pan? And why are you busting out like this? What is your problem? All right. Yep, this one was way too rock hard, and that's okay. All right, let's get in here. Oh yeah, it's super creamy. So you get that coffee flavor. Coffee flavor. It comes out really, really well. Uh, there's definitely no fish oil in here, and I don't plan on putting any fish oil in here. So no, guys, it has been pretty amazing here today. I appreciate everybody that was here. Wanted to come support the channel. The tiramisu's a okay. Future grats on the winner of the wow cookbook winner that's going to happen in the post for wowhead i will see you guys at the wowhead posting for this video until then peace love happy cooking everybody